What is up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alpers here with BB Lawn Care. We got Mitchell here. We are out pulling some weeds. A little bit of a different project here. We're trying to go the natural route. This client wants us to go the natural route and pull the weeds. And then he has a process. I've never actually heard of it. There's like, I'll try to have him explain it. But basically, you cover this area with a tarp after you've pulled it, and the sun will naturally make the weeds die off. So, pretty cool. A lot of work here ahead of us. So, I'll try to film as much as we can. But I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Skipped a vlog Monday because now well, we didn't get any good footage on Friday. But we're still doing the Monday through Friday vlogs. This week is Tuesday through Friday. So happy Tuesday to you. And uh, let's get to work. We're going to try to fill. We're going to try to pull all of this today. All of that. And then we'll be back to mowing tomorrow. <laughs> Nobody likes jobs like this. This is a this is a labor job right here. But there's a few reasons why I still do it. One, it's just working, man. You're building up your muscles, you're making money. These are the jobs where you are the solution. Okay? Nobody wants to do this. People are more they would rather pay somebody to do it than to do it themselves. And I, I understand that. It's like learning how human bef behavior is. There's a lot of jobs I do the same thing. I mean, whether it's a cleaning company, I'd rather pay somebody to clean than to clean my own house. You know what I mean? Or, I don't know, any service ever. It's about solving somebody's problem. That's what jobs like this, that's what mulching is. Anybody can go buy mulch. Anybody can lay mulch. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. <laughs> but you, as a business, can be there for people. And so, anyways guys, when you're doing jobs like this, there's, there's no, we can w work as fast and as hard as we possibly want. And we might get done a little bit quicker, but this is a time job, which means you need manpower there for a longer period of time. We can't work much faster or slower than what we're doing. It's pulling weeds, you know? It takes a little bit and you only have two hands. So uh, this is one of the rare times that I, I do a project by the hour. So we're getting paid by the hour um, instead of just one bulk price. So a little bit different, but it's a different type of project. So that's what I'm doing. But when you're doing a project like this, Put in an audiobook, put in something in your head, and don't be thinking about the job, just do the job. So, it's something that I've really, so no matter how hard, whatever you're doing, no matter how hard or tough it is, one, make sure you price it right so you're making money. So, that's, that's, the, that's the goal. And then when you're doing the actual work, just let your body do it and be in an audiobook or something to, to get your mind off of the hard work. You know what I mean? So. That's what I do, learn a little bit of something, make some money, and solve somebody's problems. So, that's what it is, man. Get your mind right. All right, it's noon, and uh, we're both a little shocked because, like, my I'm sore. Like, I just feel weird. Like, my arms are jello, my legs are, like, tired, man. Yeah, <clears throat> well, I didn't expect the weeds. I thought we were pulling weeds out of, like, of a, of a yard, not a... Uh... Not a ditch. I'm not a ditch. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, That's wild. it is a lot of work. What'd you get yourself though? Uh, I found myself two of the spicy chicken taquitos. Oh my uh, gosh! They're always straight flames at the old QT. Good luck with that, dude. In about an hour, I'll tell you good luck. <laughs> and whatever you're doing. I'll be out. 
I'm doing my famous every single day, man. Little chicken and cheese sandwich. Cheese it's my favorite. Then I just picked up some apples and grapes. So, and a little vitamin drink, dude. The little vitamin water. Because I can't have caffeine. As you guys know, I can't have energy drinks or whatever. I do love them. I just don't drink them. I can't have them. But I figured a little energy vitamin water. But it's, yeah, it's it's going to be a little day, man. It's a lot of work. I'm going to oh, go yeah. home and go to bed. Like, yeah. take a shower and get all that nasty off of me and then go to bed. So I'm gonna power clean my boots first. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's the finished product. So we basically just pulled all the weeds from here. All those big weeds from here got it away from the house. And like he's using a soil, solar, something. I don't remember what it was called. But basically you put a big tarp over all of this for like two or three months and the sun will kill the seeds to the weeds. I, I've never heard of it. Soil solarization, I think. And uh, I've never heard of it, but it's like the all-natural way to kill weeds. So I'm interested to see what comes out of it, see if it works. All right, guys. So it was just super hard to film that that job because it took a pretty long time. I think it was six hours. Um, it took us. My hand hurt so bad, like from grabbing all the weeds and yanking them out of the ground. Like every muscle is just really sore right now. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys how to how I do projects like that. That is something that, for me, is just labor. Like, there's no... I felt like if I would give them a price um, to get it done, um, there's a few things with that. Like, there's thousands of weeds there, okay? So if I said one amount, one price, uh, I think expectations from the client and the... the contractor um, could get blurred because it's not something I do it's uh, they just needed manpower kind of thing and um, there's thousands of weed not every weed not all the weeds are going to be pulled um, so that's kind of why I did hourly they you know we we had we came up with an hourly rate I came up with one to make sure of course uh, my employee I, I can pay my employee I can pay for my time and everything that comes along with a job like that. Um, still paying insurance, you have taxes coming out of that, and also the money that you could be making if you were mowing. You know what I mean? So that I, you have to factor all that in because there's only so much time that you can cut the grass. So if that takes a full day, out of your lawn mowing route, well, how much money are you missing out on, and, and things like that. So, hourly, that way everybody is on the same page with how much it's gonna cost and, and everything like that, and um, expectations aren't blurred. When you're just doing hourly, we work up until there. We both came up with an hourly rate price and how much they wanted to pay, I said, and it came out to be six hours. And so, um, it was perfect. We worked the six hours and tried to get as much done as possible for us and uh, we're super sore we're super tired and uh, but that's how I did hourly rate I know a lot of guys don't like to do hourly rates and I understand that um, but this was this was just one of those things it only happens uh, you know 10 15 times a year probably uh, where you go hourly rate on jobs like that um, but Listen, I know my mulch prices, I know my lawn mowing prices and things like that, but it's these extra things, these extra services that I, I don't do every day in my life that I do hourly. That way, just, you know, I'm not worried about losing money on it. So, because um, I could have went in there for 
way over what our hourly rate would be and I could go way under and we're there for two days and we lose money you know what I mean so that's that's basically how I did it and um, yeah I just uh, thought I'd give you guys a little piece of it not a very interesting day because that was the job and uh, didn't really do anything else mowing or anything like that so they'll be back on it tomorrow that's the video that's the vlog I hope you guys got something out of it obviously a lot of people are going to ask about the hourly rate thing so if you have an employee if you have two pl employees on that job whatever you're going to be in you how much how much do you think you're worth how much is your time valued at figure that price out and uh, then how much are you paying your employees how much does it actually cost to pay them including your taxes and insurance and things like that so might be paying them 15 bucks an hour 10 bucks an hour whatever seven bucks an hour I don't know whatever you charge add you know a couple bucks at least onto that and uh, anyways figure all that out and if there's gonna be any expenses on the job include all that and boom there you go even though hourly if you were doing expenses it would probably come out differently you'd probably charge your hourly rate and then charge them for any expenses but like uh, material I mean so that's the vlog hope you guys enjoyed it hope it gave you a little something if if so subscribe if not we'll hit you in the next one <laughs> peace guys